Hello, everyone. My name is Eternia. I am two-time Juno-nominated hip-hop artist who cares passionately about the city I call home, which is why I've agreed to host this interactive conversation about Toronto's most pressing challenges and how we're dealing with them. I'm excited to be hosting our telephone town hall tonight with Toronto's Resilience Office. We are building a strategy so Toronto is ready to deal with the challenges we are facing, from climate change to globalization. Our office, uh, and indeed my job, is to lead the development of Toronto's first ever resilience strategy. And that's a strategy to survive, adapt, and thrive in the face of any challenge. Another part of my job is to lead Toronto's participation in the Global 100 Resilient Cities Network. And as the name suggests, there are 100 cities around the world that are tackling the same problem, and we learn from them, and they learn from us. In the work that I do, the young people in the city now are more powerful than ever because we've got leaders and innovators that they can see themselves to be. So whether they be on an international stage, whether they be very local, particularly for me, the young creatives can see themselves on stage and on a different platform that was previously limited to maybe just Toronto or just Canada. But now the world is looking at Toronto as an international city. So how do we become that example of resiliency? More than anything, it's really just being that conduit within your community. I think if each person kind of looks out for those people who have dreams and aspirations and goals and even the, even the smallest, slightest kind of glimmer in their eye of potential of, of something that they'd love to do, that we support them. It is really hard to live under the poverty line. It is really hard to be a broke artist. And so these things are, are very helpful. I definitely agree with what Elliot was saying with the resilience being tied to equity. A lot of communities I'm personally a part of are at risk in various ways. So just like being concerned about the resilience in those communities because I think resilience is definitely a social justice issue. Some communities are at greater risk than others so it's harder to be as resilient. Personally with my photography background, I think seeing the city react to trauma, weather, other problems, resilience related, definitely has changed how I see the city and how I see the people who live in it. I just want to thank all of you for being here today. We had Maria Rio, a street photographer. We had Myrna, singer, songwriter, artist, Anna Lee Bonda, executive director of the Remix Project. And of course, Elliot, our chief resilience officer in Toronto um, of the resilience office here. So there's been so many great questions and inspiring conversation this evening. Thank you guys. And thank you for everyone that was listening and who called in. It takes a village to raise youth, it'll take a village to support our senior citizens um, and everybody in between. So as a community, let us be the support, the network, the family and the greater village that is Toronto and let us be ever proud to call this city home.